Good morning, everyone. So uh, I am Quan Chen. I'm from uh, Flat Iron Institute. And uh, in this talk, I would, to, I would like to talk about a package we recently developed. Uh, it's called uh, mcintegration.jl. And it's a native Julia package dedicated for high dimensional numerical integration problem. Um, so uh, why we develop this package? Well, this is because the high dimensional numerical integration is really one of the fundamental components of a numerical science. So this kind of problem pops pops out like in almost all, all different kinds of uh, fields. Uh, so for example, physics, uh, data science, finance, uh, machine learning, and so on. And uh, uh, this kind of problem is, is typically uh, very difficult to solve once the dimension is higher than three. So the reason is because there is a curse of a dimensionality if you use a uniform mesh, a uh, uniform grid system to estimate the uh, integral. And, uh, you can show that uh, if we want to achieve uh, epsilon accuracy, like uh, the uh, uh, grid points you need, will it will be exponentially increased with dimensions. Okay, so to uh, uh, overcome this uh, uh, problem, people invented the Monte Carlo technique, and uh, the overall idea is very simple. So, um, uh, so based, for example, if you want to estimate the pi, which will be the area of the union circle, what you need to do is just uh, draw a bunch of random points. In a, a square and uh, count how many points are within the circle. Um, and this simple approach turns out to, to have a very nice feature. So what it turns out is that if you want to achieve uh, accuracy epsilon, uh, the data points you need doesn't scale with the dimension. So that makes it a very promising tool to uh, solve the high dimensional integral problem. So uh, we use the uh, uh, native Julia to uh, implement a package to uh, solve uh, a generic problem like that. And uh, thanks to, uh, to the Julia's language feature, uh, our package uh, achieves uh, both performance and uh, uh, flexibility at the same time. And uh, we also implemented a couple of uh, uh, state-of-the-art algorithms to make sure the package is uh, uh, efficient and robust for generic high-dimensional integral problems. And we take a, a parallelization seriously, so we support both MPI and multi-threading uh, parallelization. And uh, uh, with this package, you can uh, solve many problems like uh, integration and uh, sol solve like uh, integral equations, uh, measure histogram, uh, sample distributions, and so on. And uh, um, the, uh, the usage of the package is quite simple. So you just need to define your integrand and call the integrate function to calculate the integral. And uh, there no, will be no problem even if your function contains a singularity. Uh, and uh, then why we choose Julia to implement this package? Well, this is because uh, in the field of numerical integration, there is a battle between speed and efficiency. And the Julia promised to solve this two language problem. So uh, um, to do a numerical integration, basically what you need to do is uh, you need to write down a uh, user-defined integrand and then uh, use the package to evaluate your integrand for like a million uh, or billions of times. Okay, so there are two costs, human labor cost to implement the integrand and there are competition costs to actually evaluate this. And both are very important. So. Uh, in the, uh, uh, for all packages existing in the market, they either focus on the uh, performance uh, speed or they focus on the flexibility. And uh, thanks to the feature of Julia, we can kill two, two birds with one stone. And uh, uh, we did a benchmark basically by evaluating uh, dozens of uh, integrals uh, to, to, and we find that the, uh, uh, the performance of uh, our package can compete with a similar package in C without uh, 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 sacrificing flexibility. Okay, so in our package, to uh, make sure like we can efficiently sample the integrals, we use a, a technique called the Vega, uh, Vegas map, originally invented by uh, uh, LaPage uh, in the uh, 1970s. And uh, uh, the, the overall idea, uh, 
can be illustrated with a, a, a simple example, which is a three-dimensional integ integral. And this integrand, this integrand actually develops a, a singular behavior at the corners of the parameter space. So it's actually very difficult to uh, calculate. And uh, um, um, naively, you will say to have a good performance, instead of randomly put a, 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 put a, a dot, a, put a, a data points, you need to sample these singular points more frequently. And the Vegas uh, map is precisely uh, 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 doing that in a very efficient way. So uh, what we find is that uh, uh, with this simple, uh, with this uh, example, Vegas map can boost the efficiency by a factor of 1,000. And uh, in addition to the Vegas map, we use another uh, important sampling technique to uh, uh, make, the, make the calculation very robust, even if there are like 100 or 1,000 dimensions. And uh, um, this is because, uh, and uh, this technique is a, uh, is a Monte Carlo uh, uh, algorithm. And uh, uh, this is because Vegas map can fail if the dimension is very extremely high. For example, if you generalize the pi estimation uh, example to D dimension. And then it, what it turns out is that uh, 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 the uh, difficulty, like uh, 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 factorial increases, so to, uh, to sample the 100 dimension problem, uh, you have to sample 10 to the power 70 points. Then you can hit the hypersphere, okay? So the integration becomes very difficult. And the uh, Vegas map uh, here cannot help us anymore. So in addition to the, uh, uh, on top of the Vegas map, basically we implement a, a Monte Carlo algorithm to directly sample the a distribution which is proportional to the integrand. And uh, uh, with this additional layer of algorithm, now actually we can ha uh, handle like uh, more than 100 dimensions without a problem. Where on the other hand, the traditional convention algorithms stop working roughly at 10. Uh, and uh, then with this, uh, in the end of my talk, like, uh, I would like to uh, uh, give you one real world example, how to solve, uh, basically how to use this package to understand why the, our sun shine, okay? So uh, we know that nowadays, we all know that uh, uh, what powers our sun is basically the proton-proton nuclear fusion. But back in the 1920s, people have uh, trouble to understand how this could be ha uh, possible. The reason is because there are strong coolant portion between proton-proton pro, proton, um, uh, particles, and this, Cooper, uh, this coolant barrier like, uh, prevent the protons get closer enough to, uh, so at that time, people were trying to understand how they can they, uh, close, get closer enough to trigger the nuclear fusion. So uh, then it turns out what uh, helps you here is a, a phenomenon called the quantum tunneling. So, uh, it turns out uh, there are always a, a small probability that uh, the protons get uh, closer uh, enough uh, at a short period of time, and uh, they are close enough uh, uh, to trigger the nuclear fusion. And uh, uh, then the, the, uh, at uh, this short period of time, the proton will form uh, like a resonant state, and uh, the, uh, the resonant dynamics is described by a quantity called a T matrix. And the, to calculate the short time behavior of the T matrix, you need to solve this integral equation. Okay? So uh, it's actually quite a difficult uh, equation to solve because it, uh, it involves the uh, integration here and uh, it's self-consistent. And it also contains uh, a, a singular, uh, it's, this integrand is singular in short, uh, in, when, uh, at, at a zero time. Uh, and then you can basically you can use uh, our package to solve this problem. The, the, uh, the, uh, the thing you need to do is you start with the initial guess of the uh, T matrix and use the uh, use the package to calculate this integrand uh, in both parameters tau tau and t. And then you measure uh, measure the histogram of this integrand as a function of t. And this histogram gives you the next iteration of the T matrix. And then you just run this iteration again and again, eventually you will find that the T matrix is highly non-trivial. So it's actually power law behavior at a short time and it actually diverge at a zero time. So this, it's a not, not zero. So this is precisely the feature of our original state. So uh, if you work out this problem like 100 years ago, actually you have a, a, like a chance to get a Nobel Prize. 
So uh, our package uh, is actually developed on the umbrella of a, a, a NEFT project. So this is a project to develop a, a modern effective fuel theory framework to uh, solve quantum material problems. And uh, uh, MC integration is a key part of it. So basically, we, we now, uh, now we use this package to calculate the high order Feynman diagrams um, for different problems. Okay, so uh, in the end, I would like to thank, like, uh, 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 I would like to thank the developer, developers and the maintainers of the uh, Kuba package and the Kuba.jl package and the Vegas package. So we, we learn a lot, a lot from them, and we got uh, many new ideas from them. And uh, uh, I will also would like to thank the contributors, Xian Shen Cai, uh, Peng Chen Ho, and uh, Daniel Sakroni. Okay, so uh, that will be my, uh, the summary of my talk. Thank you very much. Okay. Any questions? Yeah. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs>